Welcome. Today on Metris Maniacs, we are going to be changing the front brakes on our 2016 Metris van. Um, I'm going to run you through this process that I do for changing the brakes. Um, I'm not a mechanic. This is the way I do it. Um, there might be a better way. If there is, you can leave me some comments. That's great. But I'm going to run through the process. It's a pretty straightforward process. I've done a lot of brake jobs in my in my past, so this isn't any more difficult than those. Um, and we're going to get this these pads replaced and the rotor replaced and I'm going to show you how to do it. So let's get to it. Let's take a look at what we need. Okay, here's the tools we're going to be using on this brake project. We have a six millimeter hex um, socket. That's an Allen head. Um, we have a 21 millimeter um, regular socket and we also have a T30 Torx. Those are the three tools we're going to need to do this job. Probably some screwdrivers and stuff also, but these are the specific ones you need. Um, as you can see, we got our new brake pads. We have all the little parts that came with it. We have a brake clean. We're going to have to clean these discs, these rotors up before we put them on. And here are the two new rotors. Here's some of the specialty tools you'll also need. Um, we got a disc brake caliper tool set. Got this one at Harbor Freight. You could also use a C-clamp. You could also use a pry bar with some wood in strategic places and to pry open the caliper. Um, we'll be going to that later. Uh, you got needle nose pliers, a wire brush. You could use a handheld or electric kind. And also some anti-seize. All right, I wanna go through where we're gonna have to um, do some of the work. So inside these boots, I'm gonna go ahead, um, I'm gonna leave them on for a second because I'm gonna wash everything down. So the first thing I'm gonna do is spray everything with um, brake clean and get the dust off. This brake dust is just, it gets on everything, it's really bad. So I'm gonna put some paper down, wash this down real quick so that when I'm touching it, hopefully it doesn't just get all over the place. Um, but we got two boots here. In here is gonna be where the hex heads uh, bolts that connect to the bracket. This is the caliper here, it's gonna to connect to the bracket. So we're gonna remove those two. We're gonna get this bracket, the, the caliper free. And we're going to hang it off of um, with a hook just back here so it's out of our way. And then we're going to remove the bracket with the 21 inch bolts. And they're located in the back here. We're going to pop those off. And once we get the bracket off, we have the pads come with it. And then we can have access to change out the rotor, which would just be that one set screw with the T30 um, little T30 bit. Remove that. This will come off. We can um, clean everything up, put the new one on, and put every, start putting everything back together. So let's get to it. First thing, like I said, washing it down. All right, I got these two bolts loosened here we are this is what they look like i had to use a little screwdriver while i was spinning to, to kind of force it out because even though it disconnects from the the threaded part disconnects it doesn't pop all the way out so you have to do just a little bit of finagling to get it out and now we're good um, before i attempt to move this i want to get this this is my brake sensor i want to pull it out of there oh, there you go as easy as that just pulling it straight out boom and you can see there where it connects is right inside there. Um, this is going to stay with the bracket because this is part of the brake pad. And this whole part is going to lift up and we're going to hang it here. Um, I've got it connected to this bracket. I hope that's high enough. If not, I can connect it up here a little bit higher. Okay, got this hanging from up here. I went ahead and moved it a little higher because I wanted to make sure this was loose. I don't want any pinching. So this is a little bit of a sharp turn, but it's okay. It's not going to bother me too much there you go that's a little better um, back here now we have two 21 millimeter bolts these are probably gonna be on here pretty tight I'm gonna have to pop them and they'll get this bracket off when I take the bracket off the pads will come with it and then I'll have access to the rotor popping the rotor off and then working on putting all everything back with the new stuff here we go okay so now we're down 
to just the last little bit of this bolt. This is very loose, so if you take this out, it's just gonna drop. So what we wanna do is just carefully take that bolt out while we're holding on to the bottom of this. Okay, here we go. Here's our bracket. And here's our worn out brake pads. Nice even wear, which is what you wanna see. That's a very good thing if it's even. That means that um, the caliper is, is moving correctly. If you saw one side much more um, worn out than the other, it means the caliper isn't working correctly and it's not centering when you're using the brakes. So this is what you want to see. Everything looks good. It's dirty, but we're going to clean it up and um, put it all back together. Um, now we're going to get this guy off. Okay, let's take a quick look here. Here are the pads. This is, I've just widened them out. Um, you can see there's the, the bracket that goes on the front part. You can't pull the pad out that way because you're going to hit this wall. So you need to come here to the middle and pull it out that way. It's riding on these two clips, these springs that we have new ones for. I'm just going to pay attention to how they're situated and make sure that I get the new ones on there the same way and they fit as well. Um, I don't want to use these old ones. I want to use the new ones. So... But here I am, I'm just pushing this brake pad to the middle. There we go, that one's free. I can do the same thing with this one too. Okay, and that's free. Now I got the two clips on there to see how they snap into place and get them off. I think it's just a simple little, I think it's just right here in the middle. There we go. So they just, Grab on this part right here is what grabs on to here and then these two pieces. So pretty basic, pretty sure they're identical. There we go. We'll give this a little bit of a wire brushing just to get any kind of um, dust and stuff up off there and we'll snap the new ones in place and get this put back together. All right, here's the bracket. We've got the new, I put one of the new clips in. I'm gonna show you how to put the second one in and then we'll get the brake pads in place. So you just wanna center it, kind of line it up visually and just push it into place. There you go. You heard it snap into place, snap into place. Everything looks good. All right, here's the bracket. Um, I'm putting everything back together now. On the clips, you wanna apply some brake grease that comes with your kit. I came with the brake pads, so I put some grease front and back on the clips and I snapped them into place. And now on the pad, I've just done one so far, but you want to get brake grease just right here on the two edges that ride in the in, in the clips. Okay, all right, that one's in place. The second one be a little bit trickier because I'm going to put on this one first. And then I'm gonna... This part's a little tricky. There we go. Woo. Okay. Okay, now when you get these discs from your parts supply, there's always a film on them that needs to be cleaned off. So you can't, you don't want to install these with this little bit of a grease film that they put on there to keep them rusting. Um, so you want to clean them with the brake clean. Just spray it down. Make sure your rag is clean. And give it a wipe down. Now you're only worried about the part that the brakes actually work on. You don't need to clean all this. You just want to get the... The actual disc part that the, the pads are going to be up against. See, cleaning it all up. Flip it over and do the same thing to the other side. I'm just trying to make sure it's nice and clean. There we go. Now, on the face of this, you just want to make sure it's clean. And it pretty well is. I'm just going to use the wire brush a little bit. Knock off any loose rust. 
this cleaned up. Okay, that's pretty good. Clean that up. So we're gonna put some NACs on here. The NACs will keep the rust down and will protect it from the um, the rotor getting stuck on here with rust. So you just put a really thin layer, just spread it around really well. This stuff's pretty messy. It gets on everything, so once you get done putting it on, clean your hands really well, especially before you start picking up your your rotor. You don't want to get any NICs on it. If you do, just get the brake cleaner out and spray it. So you can see that's pretty nice coating there. We're gonna call that good. Okay, now that that's all prepped and we got our brake pads in place and everything's prepped, we're gonna put it all back together. So let's get to it. All right, I put the bracket back with the new pads. I can push these into place now. We can put them right up against there. It'll make the job of putting this on easier. Um, so I just put the bolts on. I put a little bit of anti-seize on the threads. And now we're just gonna tighten these up by hand and then get the wrench here and give them a nice tight and look up the torque. All right, here's the new pads in place uh, with the new springs. Um, I've just bolted this back on. It's all looking really good. Um, I just used some anti-seize on those bolts. So now I just wanna make sure that there's no residual leftovers on this one right here. That's my main concern is to get on the disc. So, cool. Now we're gonna have to adjust the caliper. And that's going to require, um, I've got the caliper hanging over here, and this is going to require pressing those, um, the two pistons down. I have a tool for that. You can also use a C-clamp. You can also use some wood and a pry bar and just work it real slowly. Um, the only thing you got to pay attention to, though, is as you're squeezing these down, all this fluid is getting pushed back into your reservoir. Chances are your reservoir is going to overflow. All right, here's the brake reservoir, brake fluid reservoir. And as you can see, the, the fluid is right there at this little mesh screen. This is because I've already done the passenger side and I pushed a whole bunch of fluid up. So this is already more than it's supposed to be in here. Um, as I start squeezing these next two pistons on the driver's side, this is totally going to come up. So I've got my hydraulic brake line um, syringe for bicycles. I'm going to use that to pull out this fluid as I'm compressing the pistons. So it's just something you got to keep an eye on. It's going to be back and forth, back and forth. I'm not going to videotape it, but you get the idea now. So just always pay attention to this. You can't just have the cap on as you're trying to compress pistons because there's nowhere for the air to go either. Here's my caliper tool. Piston, brake piston compression tool. Just squeezing down. This piston's just getting pushed into the brake caliper. I'm going to do just a few turns, and then i got to go check the fluid level. You always want to check and make sure that the the pistons in here that the um these pins that hold the caliper on they ride on some pistons here um in this chamber and there's grease all around it it needs to move freely and mine were all moving freely but i forgot to um videotape it so i just want to let you know like you want to check that if they're not moving freely pop them out clean them re-grease them and bring them back but inspect them see if there's any pitting or something wrong with them but probably there wouldn't be so just check that out. If it's all good, you're good to go. 
All right, here's the completed brakes. We've got the new pads on, the new sensor, new caps for the bolts there that hold the caliper in place. All right, that concludes my project. The front rotors and pads have all been replaced, driver's side and passenger side. Everything looks great. I'm gonna put the tire back on and give it a test run, but that's gonna do it for this video. So thanks for watching. Metris Maniacs, we'll get some more projects going here as, as they require as time goes by. So take care, everybody. Have a good day. Bye-bye.